हे ऑसम पीपल मेंबरशिप्स आर लाइव नाउ ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल गेट एक्सक्लूसिव कंटेंट अर्ली एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोस लाइव स्ट्रीम्स एंड मच मोर हिट दैट जॉइन बटन एंड बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ इनर सर्कल लेट्स ग्रो लर्न एंड क्रिएट टुगेदर Hey guys welcome back to my channel LG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this intro animation for your YouTube channel inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple cool tips and tricks about keyframe animations and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses all links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more of Updates. So without wasting any much more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate i am going to choose 30 second and background color i am going to choose white color and simply hit okay and hit okay then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title save action now i am going to select my ellipse and i don't want any stroke so i'll delete the stroke and for the color i'm going to choose black color and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now let's select this ellipse and press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press p for position select this right click and choose separate dimensions and let's create one keyframe at y then we will go somewhere around downwards like this then we'll go to around 20 frame and let's make this value uh, again somewhere around 500 and press v and let's try to bring this over here like that sorry let's align it properly let's bring this over here then go somewhere around over here and let's uh, bring this in the middle so click on this icon so let's select those keyframe and let's hit f9 go to the graph select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so now it will give a look like a bouncing animation now select this keyframes and by holding alt i am going to bring this up to 25 frame so we will get something like this and when this point is going to come over here i am going to select this layer and i'll hit control d to duplicate it and let's select this first layer and change the color to yellow select this layer and let's delete the keyframe now in search option let's search for size and create one keyframe and hit u now let's select this uh, and this time i'm going to delete the fill i don't need and for the stroke choose black color and simply hit okay and let's increase the size of the stroke somewhere around like this let's enable this okay let's make this value 200 let's minimize this okay now uh, let's uh, if you see we are getting this point over here now let's select this and hold alt and open square bracket and initially size i'm going to choose 0 then i'll go somewhere around 20 frames and let's increase the size of this to somewhere around like this let's select this one and choose a red color just for now <coughs> sorry select this and let's uh, increase the size now let's select this value again and hit control d select this one and change the color of this one to a little bit uh, grayish color just for our understanding that this is a different layer and let's move this over here select this hit control d select this and let's increase the size of this one again and let's choose black color like this select this hit control d select this let's choose grayish color again just for our understanding something like this select this hit control d select this last layer choose black color again and increase the size like this over here okay i think this much looks good hit u and now if you see we'll get this and we'll get this now let's select those keyframe and let's hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here like this okay over here then zoom in zoom out and by uh, let's bring this last keyframe somewhere around 2.10 
like this okay now as you guys can see uh, it looks like this is happening a little bit late so let's try to bring those somewhere around over here or you can select those keyframe you can go to the graph editor select this and by holding shift we need to bring this over here so it will act a little bit faster then we need to take a, a gap between these portions but we'll do that later after completing this animation we we need a trim path animation between these so let's select this uppermost one and go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path then go to the trim path and we can as you guys can see we can end this animation like this so let's create one keyframe then go to around four second and let's make this value zero or somewhere around let's say one okay not zero but one and select those keyframe and let's hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see we will get something like this okay now what we need to do over here we need to select this trim path we will hit ctrl c and make sure that uh, during copying this uh, trim path you are uh, need to be on the this keyframe over here so copy this trim path by hitting ctrl c and let's hit u select all the other layers and hit ctrl v to apply that trim path and hit u so you as you guys can see we are getting this animation okay so if you see this now first we'll get this and then we will get this now let's select those trim path last keyframes and try to bring them a little bit closer like this and then somewhere around at this point over here i'm going to press s let's create one keyframe then go over here and let's make this value zero and now select those keyframe and let's hit f9 go to the start go to the keyframe select this zoom in a little bit uh, by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get something like this or you can bring this a little bit over here okay over here or you can select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this okay now if you see this animation first we will get this then we will get this and then we will get this okay let's uh, uh, increase the duration of this animation so select those keyframe uh, let's bring them at the start so it will try to scale down a little bit early and it should be over here now what i'm gonna do over here is that uh, i'm going to select this uh, topmost layer over here and let's choose the grayish color over here like this and select those alternate layers over here and let's choose uh, white color over here so if you see first we'll get this and now this animation should be one by one so i'm going to take a distance somewhere around over here like this like this and like this okay so if you see we are getting something like this let's hit u okay now we need to apply uh, some drop shadow effect so select this topmost layer first and uh, select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and let's increase the softness to somewhere around like this then select this drop shadow effect by hitting ctrl c select all the remaining layers and hit ctrl v so now if you see this we are gonna get this kind of animation over here like that okay so let's see first we'll get this and then we'll get this now let's select this topmost layer and let's choose a little bit darker version of this color like this and we'll get something like this then i'm going to select this layer i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and I'm going to change this color to white and press S and let's decrease the scale a little bit like this and apply this drop shadow effect over here and increase the softness so if you see we are getting something like this and let's hit page down button few time and select this white color and let's try to bring this over here 
okay so if you see we are getting something like this and then this and then this okay and when this last one is gonna come over here i want there should be some uh, sparking type animation over here should be happening so let's uh, select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u and let's delete all of this and let's try to bring this over here and change the color of this one to black press s initial scale should be zero create one keyframe then as it goes further increase the size of this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here then select this hit ctrl d move this over here and change the color of this one to white okay so first we'll get this then we'll get this okay now between these there should be some additional animations needs to happen so press ctrl n and we are going to call it as line animation so hit ok then for that i am going to select my pen tool from here to here i am going to create one line with the black color and stroke width to 10 pixels and fill i am going to delete it then go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path initial end value should be zero so create one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end then go somewhere around 1.20 frame let's make this value 100 as well as this value 100 okay select those starting keyframe and let's move this over here so we'll get something like this now let's try to address it over here select those keyframe and by holding alt i'm going to bring this over here and let's hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we will get something like this now uh, we need another copies of this so hit u select this hit ctrl d press r and let's sort of make this uh, uh, not 60 but 90 degree rotation again hit ctrl d press r let's make this 180 hit ctrl d press r and let's make this 270 so if you see we are getting something like this then so select all of this and let's press v for selection and let's make this stroke width to 4 select all of this hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and this time i'm going to make stroke width 10 then right click new and create one null object select the top four layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation and let's make this 45 degree rotation so if you see we are getting something like this now i'm going to select this uh, topmost layer and i'm going to move this up to 10 frames like that okay like this then you can select this press s and you can make this 200 as well so if you see this now we are getting something like this now select all of these layers and in search option search for cap and now all the but camp i'm going to choose to round cap okay so make sure to choose round cap for each and every one okay so we are gonna get proper like this animation hit you if you want you can bring this up to five frames as well okay like that and i think the stroke weight over here is too much so let's do one thing make this one only not too much or even less than that like 0.5 or something okay like this okay this looks good to me let's go to the main animation and then when this animation is happening i want that line animation should appear so let's try to bring this over here this line animation and it should be behind this first okay at this point okay when this animation goes and when this animation arrives i'll select this line animation and i'll try to bring this over here and i'll bring this over here as well and this animation should start somewhere around at this point okay at this point okay 
and uh, just in case it's very slow simply right click time and choose time stretch and let's choose 80 okay like that so it will automatically become faster so first this and then this okay and then over here you can put your logo so right now i'm just putting uh, your logo text but you can add your logo so uh, if you see this properly this is a very basic animation for beginners okay let's uh, increase the size of this one then at this point try to bring your logo so press p or uh, or you can press s for scaling create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe and go to the start let's make this zero and choose uh, f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here like this okay and try to adjust it over here okay so if you see we'll get this and we'll get this okay like that then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this over here like this so after all of this as you guys can see just with the help of simple shape layers you can create this kind of logo for your channel